So it started, I was branding. In, in the UK, we freeze brand. And you, you guys do in the States as well, but it's more often than not a hot brand. Here, it's using um, carbon dioxide, so dry ice, to freeze brand cows. And I was really good at it. But the thing with all you're doing is stamping a number on a cow's bum, so to speak. You don't actually see the result there in person. It takes about eight weeks to actually come through because the hair has to die off and grow back white. So I was doing this and everybody kept saying, your attention to detail is really good. Uh, like you, sh you should be hoof trimming. And I always said, there's no way I am going to hoof trim. Absolutely no way. Um, but what happened was I was traveling all over Scotland. So up to the, so I live in the very lowlands of Scotland. And it's about seven hours drive to the north of Scotland. So I was, I was traveling all over Scotland. I was going on to the islands and I was really enjoying it. But then I got in a relationship and it began to kind of grate on me. So I was looking for something that I could really get my teeth into. And as soon as I started to hoof trim, it was supposed to be a bit of a sideline alongside uh, freeze branding. But it was you could see instant results. You, you could take a cow in that was fairly lame and she could leave the, the shoot or the crush um, looking completely different. Like not always, obviously, but this was something now that I had that I could make a difference and see the fruits of my labor, so to speak. And the more I became immersed in the world of hoof trimming, the more I became immersed in it. And it was just a kind of snowball effect. And even now, it sounds like BS and everybody says these things, but I literally learn something new every single day, even if it's just to a small degree or, or whatever it is, or if somebody's doing something else, I'm always learning. But the cows are always teaching me.